Vova, Vova, why were you crying? Did you have a bad dream? No, Mom. A good one. About Dad. Mom, can you tell me more about Dad? I told you yesterday. And the day before. Well, so what? Tell me again. <sighs> you know that. Your dad received a new secret mission, and he left for South America. Mom, does my dad get missions straight from the president? Well, of course, from whom else? The president calls him on a super secret phone and gives him a top secret job. Only your dad can handle it. And do you know why he went to South America? No, I don't know. No one can really know the details of your father's job. It is top secret after all. <sighs> you know, don't tell anyone about your dad's secret job, okay? Mm, you know it's a secret, right? Mom, when is he coming home? Well, as soon as the mission is complete, he'll come right home. Tell me how it's going to be. He'll show up unexpectedly and without warning because he likes surprises. He will bring you so many of your favorite gifts. For me, a big bouquet of flowers. You'll just come from school one day and he'll be sitting in the kitchen, drinking tea, looking at you and smiling. My father, the spy. Come on. Here. It's all come right. on. Come on. Be careful. Careful. Good morning. Good morning, Galina. Could you take Vova to school today? I'm running late for work. Yes, of course I'll take him. Don't yes, worry. Yes, thank you. Uh, Vova. Well, okay. Come on. Behave yourself, all right? Give me your hand. Let's go. By the way, my father was sent to South America on a job. Only it's a secret, so you can't tell anyone. This is a very dangerous mission. Won't they kill him? Come on, of course not. They can't hurt him. Well, maybe just a little. Not much. I think. Did you go to bed late again? Were you up crafting? How can you spend so much time on all these crafts? But more importantly, why? Tanya, someday I, we, will have children. A son. We'll go out to the playground, build a paper plane, and we'll fly it together. <laughs> you know how wonderful it would be for the kid. Roman, what are you talking about? We already agreed that we need to live our lives for us first. Well, we need to save money. Your salary just isn't... I have a really good salary. It's enough for a living. I make good money. People who make less money have children. After all, you always stay at home. I don't just stay at home, Roman. I want to find myself. Don't compare me with other people. And besides, you knew that I wasn't going to be the type to do laundry and, and cook all day for you. I'm a creative being. I've been here painting all morning. Don't you like it? Or do you not like it? No, tell me if you don't like it. Anya, I like everything you do. I really do. Mm -hmm. You are the most talented, the most mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taste this. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. You're my one and only. That's why I chose you, my dear. You're very patient. Please, you have to understand. It's very important for your wife to find herself in her art. Tanya, <clears throat> I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's time now. 
Okay, okay, okay. Ah. Have a great day. Thank you. Good luck. Kisses. Bye, I'll see you later. Hello? How are you today, my impatient man? Not ready yet. I need about half an hour. I'm waiting. <sighs> Valentina, think about yourself. Not just your son. Irina, I do. Well, maybe you can meet with Kirill. Don't be so prideful. By the way, you've been together for more than a year. Together, not together. He doesn't really care anymore. Valentina, you know very well he had a hard time with his divorce, his second marriage. To tell you the truth, he suffered a lot through his first one, too. I know, I heard. And so he's being cautious. Maybe he's afraid to make... Another mistake in his life. You know, men are easily scared, especially when it comes to marriage. Yeah, I understand. <clears throat> Valentina, would you come here for a second? <sighs> Hi. Hi. Here. Valentina, here's the deal. I bought a weekend getaway for half price. Maybe we'll go. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, vacation spot in the forest. And Volvo? We can't take Volvo with us. It's not for children. He'll stay with Galena or with Irina. No, it's actually Volvo's birthday tomorrow, so I'm sorry, but I really come can't. Come on. You can celebrate when you come back from the trip. Well, why should two adults depend on one child all the time? Well, I can't just leave him alone, especially on a day like that. Don't do this to me, Valentina. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. No, I would love to go, but I have a child. Do you understand? I do. Now I understand everything, Valentina. I have to go. Hey, Roman. Hey. Let's go to my office. We need to talk. Let's go. You're so cold. Well, yeah, I'm freezing, and you'll warm me up. Mm. Mm. Roman, here's the deal. So as you it may have already heard, the rumor's out there that... Melkazarov's going to India. Melkazarov? I was the one who created that project. Mm. I sacrificed my life for it. Roman, I understand, but what can I do? Boris, you insisted on this. I never wanted to take on this project. Well, yes, I promised. I insisted. I don't deny it. <sighs> well, 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 nothing I can do, you know. I'm your friend. I'm terribly sorry, but it's not in my power. Boris, don't bring up our friendship. Not right now, in this moment. Roman, wait, come on. Everything can change. Roman! What the hell? Just like a child, really. Wow, where did you get Amazing. that? My dad bought it. He got three. For himself, for me, and for my mom. And my dad and I, we're going fishing in the lake this weekend. Who cares about fishing? My father was invited to Spartak to play in the first team. Vova, why are you smiling? Want to say something? Who cares about that? Who cares if I'm invited or not? I'm for CSKA anyway. And why is that? My father is for CSKA. I'm for CSKA as well. Father? Where did you get him from? I've always had him. Like the invisible man? The invisible father? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He does have a father, only he can't talk about him. Is that clear? But why? His father is a spy, and right now he's away on a secret mission. He was even awarded the special medal. What do you mean, medal? A medal of courage. You're lying. 
I'm not lying. My mom told me that. She went to visit him at work. They even allowed her to hold the award. You made the whole thing up and you're lying. No, I swear. My mom was the one who told me that. So then she's lying. What? Are you saying that my mother is lying? It turns out she is! I didn't come by today. Then there would have been another man. Stop. I want more details, please. <laughs> well, I was already for a relationship, and then there would have been someone else instead of you. Oh, there you go. I see now. <laughs> yeah, Dennis, that's it. <laughs> you surprised me. That's it, then. <laughs> I'm about Dennis. Stop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here. Why can't you understand me, Irina? There is no way I can leave my son alone on his birthday. Valentina, he will have a lot more birthdays in his lifetime. Not a big deal. But you, my dear, won't have many more men in your life, you know. You should think about that. Hello? Yes, of course, I'll be right there. What's wrong, Valentina? Vova had a fight at school. Pizzeria. You meeting someone? Do you have vodka? Yeah? 500. Vodka in the morning is a dangerous move. Seems like you haven't had a drink in a while. Hello. I want to tell you that I know everything. What is it that you know? I know that you have a lover, that his name is Dennis, that you meet at our house, and that we are over. Urgently, I am in big trouble. What prompted this unmotivated outburst of aggression? Why did you attack him? You need to tell us. He deserved it. You see, not only would he not repent, but he can't admit he's done anything wrong. Don't worry, we will figure it out at home, I promise. We will find out and he will apologize. Right, son? I won't apologize. Vova! Vova! Valentina, you know what I think is that we're going to need to ask a psychologist for professional help. He is clearly maladjusted. I will figure it all out, I promise. I'll figure it all out. Goodbye.
Waitress. Yeah. More vodka and beer. Haven't you had enough? Can I decide for myself? Well, you're a grown man. What happened? Mom, I don't even know where to start. Roman accuses me of having an affair, and he also claims that he knows everything about it. Are you having an affair? How long has it been? Fine, it's been two months. How did Roman find out? Well, see, I don't know exactly, because he called and said that he knows everything, and that call was right after Dennis had just left, so I don't really know. Oh, you meet each other here, okay. Well done, you're crazy, it could be over. Did Roman go to work with a briefcase? The briefcase? A black leather one? Well, yes, he always goes to work with it, but why? There you go. Such an idiot. Tanya, does this seem right to you? To bring your lover home with you? Be grateful that he didn't kill the both of you. Couldn't you call me? Why wouldn't I give you the use of my apartment? Mom, but maybe I should be with Dennis, don't you think? Did he propose? Well, not exactly. And why in the world do you think he would propose exactly? Mom, what should I do? We have to think. Honey, talk to me, sweetie. Talk to me. I had a fight because of Daddy. They didn't believe me about the order and laughed at me. You told the other boys about your father? No, Mom. I just told Shusha only. And then she told my other classmates. And Andre? started to laugh and said that you're lying about Daddy and about the medal. So that's why I hit him many times. What am I going to do with you? Don't do anything with me. I'm doing just fine. When Daddy comes back home, I'll ask him to put on his medal so that everyone can see and die of jealousy, especially that kid Andre. <laughs> well, of course. Of course. Come on, go to sleep. Sleep, son. <sighs> Here I am. Mrs. Galena, where have you been? I'm running late. Wait, it's still 10 minutes before closing ten minutes. time. Listen, I think I got a good one. In brief, a retired major, now he works as head of security in the bank, divorced, he has no children. How cool is that? <laughs> Who's it? Doesn't matter. Wake him up and send him home. Okay, I gotta go. I still need to navigate through Moscow. Here are the keys. Bring them tomorrow. Do you understand me? All right, bye. Sir. Buddy. Hmm. Time to go home. We're closing. I don't have a home. I don't have anywhere to go. Uh, here we are. I'm walking over to the store right now. Irina, I made up the whole story about his dad only so that he doesn't feel any different. You understand? I couldn't even imagine what would happen. I betrayed my son, so I don't know what to do now. I'm not, I'm not worried about myself. It's about him. Irina, I'm telling you, it's not about me. I'm afraid for Volva. Irina, hold on, I'll give you a call back. I'm 
not going anywhere. That's Go, the end. I need to lock up the restaurant. Come on. I told you already. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Leave me alone, please. Well, what am I to do with him, huh? No, I'm not going. Marina, what? What oh, happened? Valentina. Well, this man doesn't want to go home. Larissa left him to me. She went away, but she left him here. Should I call the police? I already called the manager. Galina, listen, don't call the police. He seems to be a decent gentleman. Let me just talk to him. All right. All right. I'll try it. <sighs> Hello there. Hello. Hello, good evening. Oh my god, what a way to meet. We haven't seen each other in a while, have we? Well, let's talk. Sit down. Do we know each other from somewhere? No. No, we don't know each other. It's just that you're very, very similar to this girl I was dating in school. You know... We probably need to go home. Uh, Someone's waiting for you there, worried. Nobody's waiting for me. Nobody needs me. Nobody! And because of that, I'm very sad. I understand it might not be of much help to you, of course. But I'm not very happy with my life as well. I think it's worse for me, Valentina. Well, what happened to you? Tell me about it. First, I... First, my wife is cheating on me. Second, my best friend betrayed me. And third, I was denied a business trip, but that's nothing. I mean, compared to the first two. Yes, I understand. Ah, uh, God, I don't know. I don't know, what should I do? What do I do next? Where do I go? Do you know where I should go? I'm just scared of tonight. And I'm afraid of tomorrow. Hmm, and why? Because it's going to be the worst day of my entire life. Well, tell me. I live with my son. I don't have a husband. And my son is very worried because he never had a father. And I came up with a story, said that his father is an undercover spy. Well, I couldn't tell the truth. That his father left me as soon as he found out that I was pregnant with him. Do you understand? Yeah, of course. I understand. Well, he has a father, well, sort of. I knew eventually one day he would show up, but it's like a fairy tale. Just like a made-up story like the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. I never thought it would cause such a disaster for him. All right, and then what happened to your son? He went to school, and there he told the boys about his father. They didn't believe him. They began laughing at him, told him that he was lying, and he got into a fight with them. Yeah, that's hard. You see, he... he believes that he has a father. That's it. It's all my fault. I lied. I don't know what to do. Tomorrow is his birthday. You see, he's so stubborn. If they continue to laugh at him, he will continue to fight them about it. I need to tell him the truth. And I... I don't know how to do that. Ah. Uh. Uh, and tell me, what's your heroic husband's name? Huh? Hmm? Roman? <laughs> what's so funny? Uh, sorry, I, I'm not laughing at you. My name is... Roman. But I'm really not a spy. I often go abroad to do my work both to America and to China, even a medal. I have a, a big medal. 
for the liquidation of the accident at the Sayano Shushinskaya Dam. Are you kidding? I'm being honest. That's really funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I seriously can't believe it. You can't believe it? Look, there you are. Candidate of Technical Sciences, Head of Development Department, the Honorable Roman Petrovich. Very nice. Please don't be upset with me. Please. I feel extremely bad. And I'm gonna go. Oh, that's fine. No worries. It was very nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> Roman. Uh. That's my name. Like your husband's. Scarf. Mm. Goodbye. Goodbye, Roman. Uh. Oh! It's slippery. Let's compare all of your various options. Roman, your husband, ha, mm -hmm. has a PhD, mm -hmm. leading specialist in a reputable company. He loves you. 42 years old. Dennis, 30 years old. Fitness coach. He's in great shape and allegedly single. Allegedly has an apartment. Sex. It's great, Mom. It's really great, okay? Okay. Also, Dennis has a car. <laughs> Only it is not known whether Dennis is ready to drive you in it on an official basis. Actually, Tanya, what do you want? Honestly, Mom, I don't really know. All right. So I guess we'll wait until Roman shows up. Hmm. Do you think he will show up? What else? He'll get really drunk, be sorrowful, get sober, and he'll show up. Oh, men are such primitive creatures. Hmm. Remember, no pain and then no gain. How's yours? Okay, yes, well, they're <laughs> friends. I know, I know, yes. Good children. Give my regards. I'm always with them. Oh, holy cow, let's uh. go. All right, let's go. Hold on. What are you doing here? I'll catch a taxi. I'll go to the station to sleep. But you, you can't catch a taxi here until the morning. Well, then I'll take the subway. Where's the subway? Listen to me. You'll have to walk three miles to get to the subway. While you're walking, they'll close it. Mm. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. He'll find a way somehow, Wait let's a go. Well, then come to my house. You can spend the night there. Why? What for? Huh? Well, what if you don't catch a taxi? You can freeze here tonight because of your stubbornness. Well, come on, let's go. Valentina, 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 are you, are you crazy or what? You don't know him at all. No, everything will be fine, don't worry. Who invites strangers home? You're crazy. What makes you think that we're strangers? Mom, what if he doesn't call? He will call, of course. Huh. He'll spend a night at the station, and then he'll call. Don't even worry. Mom, it's already 11 o'clock. Uh, Roman will come back in about an hour or two. The main thing here is to have patience. Patience wins the day. Just make sure that you're not the first one to make the call because the first one who gives in is the loser. <sighs> mm. 
Where are you going to sleep? In my son's bedroom. Don't worry about it. Well, what is your son's name? Oh, my son's name, it's Vova. Come on, uh, go to sleep now. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. What happened to you? Are you okay? No, I'm okay. I just have a very interesting proposal for you. What proposal? About what? Don't. It's late. Just go to bed, Roman. Yeah, yeah. I just... I thought that maybe... I should become your husband. For a while. What? What husband? What... What are you talking about, hmm? Okay, not your husband. But your son's father. For a while. Listen, you're making me crazy right now. I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, it's all very simple. I will be your husband and Vova's father for one day. I'll take the little guy to school so that the boys will stop picking on him. And then I'll go back on my secret mission. Hmm? Uh, no. No, don't. What for? That's a silly idea. What silly idea? It's a great idea. Why? It won't be worse than it is now. You know what, Roman? Say yes. Go to bed. Come on, say yes. I'll think about it. Hello? Hello? Oh, I think I'm mistaken. Oh, you're probably calling for Roman Petrovich, right? Yeah, but who are you? You know, Roman is fine. He's doing a lot better. He's sleeping right now. Sleeping? Where is he sleeping? Call him to the phone right now. This is his wife. Tanya, what are you talking about? Tanya, what I happened? I called him, and then a woman picked up the phone. And she said that he was spending the night with her. Is that okay? Maybe you made a mistake. Am I an idiot, or what? No, no, I'll dial again. I, uh, I'll tell her everything, okay? My daughter, we won't call anyone. Don't be overreacting. Should I sit here? No. First, figure it out. We just need to figure it out. Either this is some kind of terrible mistake, or maybe... I underestimated my son-in-law. Never desire to get that which is not yours. So, I guess first we'll have to improve upon our plans. We'll try it with Dennis. And do what, Mom? Oh, my little darling. I'll tell you all about that tomorrow. Oh, good morning. I can't find my shirt anywhere. Oh, I washed and ironed it. I'll bring it right now. Y you know, 
I was just thinking about your offer from last night. I decided to say yes. Uh, let's just do it this way. You and I will meet and talk, and then we will take him to school together. He will introduce you to his friends, and, well, you know, the boys will understand that he has a father. And that's it. Nothing more. Uh, okay? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, I'll get your shirt. Father, you've been waiting for him. Uh. <laughs> wow, you're so grown up, buddy. <laughs> You'll catch up to me soon. Come on. Let me look at you. Well, how's life? Dad, I miss you so very much. Well... I missed you too. You understand, service is really important for a man. Do you understand that? Do you, buddy? Dad, you need to go to school with me. There's one fool in my class that- Bova, why are you using words like that? But why? How should I call him? Dad, you need to have your medal with you. And a gun. Do you have the medal with you? Huh? I do, yeah. And then we can go to the movies together. Mom doesn't like thrillers, but I like them, I do. It's gonna be so much fun, Dad. <laughs> What brings you here, baby? Hi, Dennis. I have a problem. <laughs> problem? Such a beautiful girl can't have any problems. I am pregnant. What do you mean? Just knocked up. Like a bird, I'm pregnant. I am pregnant, and with your child, Dennis. Your husband? What about my husband? I haven't slept with my husband for six months. Anyway, I told him yesterday about us and about the pregnancy. He left. And now, I'm free. Stop running, it gets on my nerves. You shocked me. Of course, it's great, I'm, I'm happy that you're free. But about the child, listen, these things are not so simple. You should go to the doctor, consult with him, find out if, if what if there's suddenly a mistake? Find it out for sure. Find out for sure? What else? Listen, my client's waiting for me. He's moody today. All right, call me later, as soon as you visit the doctor. Okay? I'll wait. Call me. He's just scared, you know, and he wanted out as quickly as possible. He sent me to the doctor and ran away. Calm down. When misfortune strikes, it strikes the weakest part. This is just the beginning. We'll fight on two fronts. Good idea to visit the doctor. We should go. Mom, <laughs> I should go to the doctor, but I'm not pregnant. Who said that you're going to the doctor? I'll go to the doctor. Hello? Hello. Look, this is my dad. Well, shall I take him to school? No, the two of us are going to take him to school today. All right, Bova? Yes, Daddy. Let's go. Let's go.
Yeah. That's, I want one of those. <laughs> so this is it, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hello there. Hello, and who are you? I'm Vova's father. My name is Roman. Well, where did you come from, mister? You know what we should do, Vova. You should invite your friends to visit us at our place. We'll celebrate your birthday, and I'll tell you where I came from and where I've been. Do you guys agree? Is it agreed? We okay, agree. agreed. Agreed. Hello. Hello, doctor. Come in and have a seat. The thing is, doctor, I'm really in need of your help right now. I believe my daughter is pregnant. Well, is your daughter registered in the hospital? Nah, uh, not yet. Well, good. Let her come. We'll do all the tests, see her, and help her. Well, the thing is, doctor, my daughter's not even pregnant yet. Ah, so what you want is to get a fake certificate. You're going to blackmail someone, as if your daughter is expecting a child. Get out of here. Okay. But I'll have you know that you're now breaking the Hippocratic Oath. You are refusing to help a dying person in need. Lady, what's your problem? My daughter is married. She's not blackmailing anyone. Up until now, she hasn't been able to have children. She's being treated in doctor's hope, but no luck. And her husband said if she doesn't give birth to a child and soon he's gonna leave her. Doctor, she loves him more than life. And love is evil. Please help us, doctor. Don't be responsible for destroying a young, beautiful family. Maranoa, please hold my calls. Roman, I know exactly why you came today, and I'm terribly sorry that it happened. I'll try to do something about it. Boris, I... That's not why I'm here. Yeah, it's Tanya. I'm having a serious problem. Well, in brief, I... I left her. I see. Roman, just one question. You left her for someone, or you just left? I just left her. Where are you gonna go live? Well, I don't know yet. I'll try to rent an apartment. Oh, I see. Look here. <clears throat> Here's the key to my summer house. Live there for a while. Find your way, it's not far. Only I beg of you, don't rush your decisions. First, figure it out for yourself, then decide. Well, did you do it? This document is to certify that Tanya is currently five weeks into her pregnancy. Did you bribe the doctor or what? My god, they're all so hypocritical. You're hypocritical for sleeping with a lover in your husband's bed. And stupid. Well, okay, but who, who are we going to show it to? Both of them. We lay bets on all horses. One of them's going to be the father of your newborn child. Hello? Hello. Been thinking about you all day. How are you? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, what did you decide to do about Spy Dad? Irina, I'm even scared to tell you about it. <laughs> you see, the thing is, I recently met a man. He offered to help me and be Volva's dad for a couple of days. Uh, how could this be, Valentina? Who is this man? Well, he's a man. He's charming. And he's positive. He's very positive. You know, when Vova saw him early this morning, he almost went completely mad with joy. How did he see him? Did he spend the night with you? Mm. Irina, well, yes, he spent the night here, but don't think anything bad. It's all for Vova's sake. You are crazy, bringing home a complete stranger. 
Come to your senses. And what will happen if Kirill finds out you have a strange man sleeping in your house? Well, he won't know anything unless you tell him about it, Irina. By the way, I'm his sister, and unlike you, I'm not going to lie to my brother. Well then, Curl, what were you waiting for? She just found a new man, by the way. Well, I just didn't want to force things with her. Then how can I know that she had someone else? She didn't, but now she does. A very nice and positive man. I don't believe that in one day she would erase everything that happened. By the way, we have a serious relationship. What should I do, huh? Well, I think you should... Stop talking and do something about it! Hurry up and propose to her! Irina, you really think I should propose to her? Uh, I'm not done with the quarterly report yet. I can't. Piss on you, sissy. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, life is weird. <laughs> Who would have guessed? I don't know. Excuse me, please. Could you help us for a bit? Yes, of course. Hello, how are you? Hello. Tell me, the man that just entered the building? Is he your new neighbor? Well, how can I put it like this? New? But if you see his son, then maybe not so new. His son? Well, yes, Valentina Sanvova. Like his father. And so happy after his father returned home. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Huh. Mom? What do you mean, Mom? It's time for me to find a good surgeon. I'm gonna need to get a head transplant because all of this new information doesn't fit into it anymore. Did he have a lover or not? And who's the son's mother? It's terrible. I'm shocked. And now, cake for the birthday boy and his friends. Mm, bravo. Mm -hmm. Well, Volvo, come on. Blow, on three. Mm -hmm. Okay, one. Mm -hmm. Two, three. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well done. <Yay. laughs> what countries have you been to? To America, Vietnam, China, well, and even Hong Kong. And which football team do you root for? Vova, didn't you tell all your friends what team I'm for? I told them you were for CSKA. Do you have a hobby? Of course I do. Why don't we go outside and I'll show you. Come on, let's go. Boy, 
boy looks like him, don't you think? That bastard. Whoa, I love it. Oh, I get it now. Second family, right? So this girl must have given birth to the child. Just about two weeks after your wedding. So as it turns out, he lived both with me and with her at the same time? This scoundrel still has the courage to accuse me of cheating when he's the one who started it. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go tell him everything. Shh. I'm gonna go tell him everything. Calm down, Tanya. What do you want? To feed your ego or to get your husband back? And get my husband back. Well then listen to what I'm about to tell you. Husband and wife are flour and water. Mother-in-law the yeast. And Diplodocus lived in lakes near the shores about 150 million years ago. Its remains are found in the United States, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. Well, let's sleep. Dad, can you please tell me more about your work? Let me tell you a story of how I came to Moscow. When I was 17 years old, I came to Moscow to enter into college and at the station, my wallet and my money were stolen. I was very frightened and very worried. Standing under the street lamp and thinking, what should I do? You know, the street was in front of me. The cars were rushing by. People were rushing everywhere. And I got so scared that I couldn't even move. I wanted to return to the train, go back home, give up. And that's what happened. All right, and then? And then I thought, I'm not worse than all these people who were rushing by, hurrying, going somewhere. I pulled myself up. I asked for directions. And I went on foot to the college. And did they accept you? They did. And they put me in a dorm. They also lent me some money. Hmm? And I'll tell you that story some other time, okay? Can I ask you one last question? Yes, the last one. Are you leaving tonight? No, I'm not leaving. What if you get called from work? Well, if they call, then I won't answer the phone. Hmm? Well, work, of course, is very important. I'll just tell them that you have a birthday. I decided to stay with you. Really? You bet. <laughs> All right, sleep, sleep. <laughs> That's it. Well, I'll go. Well, where are you going? So late. Well, I can't stay here. Well, you have nowhere to go. Yeah. You're right, actually. Well, just stay here. I am very grateful to you for helping my son. Thank you very much. Don't worry about it, my dear. It's my pleasure. He's a wonderful boy. I don't have any children of my own, but if I did, I'd like to have a son just like him. Have a good night. And what will you tell him tomorrow when I have to leave? Well, I will say that you went on an assignment again. Do you think I can come back from these assignments sometime, home? You didn't answer my question. Well, if you want to, then of course you can. 
Good night, Valentina. Good night, Roman. Now, here's your daughter. Or son. Is he mine? He doesn't look like me. Aren't you ashamed? Listen, tell me what you want, huh? I... I want us to be... together, Dennis. Look, I'm not mentally prepared for a family, for children. Is that really my child? Maybe you ate something, something bad. I need to get out of here. No, don't do that. If the test confirms that it's mine, I'm ready to pay. And pay for the water, big spender. I see. We'll go back to your husband. Well, maybe... You want more tea? Listen. My, my friend gave me the keys to a summer house and so I thought maybe if the weather's nice this weekend, maybe we can go there together. No. You don't want to? I want to, but I can't. I better not. Well, you know how Vova is attached to you, and every day it's more and more. I just wouldn't want him to get hurt. Understand? Hello? Irina, hi. Hey. Valentina, what's the latest with your spy? Mm. Uh, that story is over. Listen, I got some big news for you that you can't even imagine. Wait, wait. <laughs> what? I got a raise? What raise? You'll be shocked when I tell you the big news. <laughs> but don't betray me or Kira will kill me. What happened, Irina? He's planning to propose to you. What? He wants to marry you. Valentina. Val! Valentina! Get the flowers and go! Roman, what were you suggesting? Vova, remember that story I told you? How I stood there, wanting to go back home because I was afraid? It happened right here, under this lamppost. Cool, and then you would have left Moscow and never met my mother. It turns out this lamppost is magical. Well, you're right if you want your wish to be fulfilled. It's necessary to make a wish when you're standing under this lamppost, and it will surely come true. Now close your eyes. <laughs> well, let's go, storytellers, or we'll miss our train. Come on. Come on. Oh, be careful. <laughs> let's go. Kira, she's confused now, hesitant, got it? So just act normal, easy going. Don't pretend to be a prince, all right? Mm-hmm, got it. Go there now. As soon as you're done, just call me and I'll pick you up. Okay, I'll go. Go on.
She went away with some scoundrel. Where did she go? To the country, to his summer house, and they're so happy, beaming. And you should see Volva, so joyful. And Valentina was radiant. Why is she radiant all of a sudden? Why? Volva's father has come home. What makes you think that? Valentina said it. Yes, I can see for myself hello? they look alike. Uh, oh, hello, hello, hello. Excuse me, can you please tell us how we can find your new neighbor, uh, Roman Petrovich? They all went to his summer house with Valentina. What summer house? Roman took them to his summer house. What a bastard. He even has a summer house. So I guess that's where he took that slut, right? Girl, be careful with what you say. She's my friend. What's happening? So he went with that woman to the summer house. He also took Valentina with him? You. And why should I be careful with what I say when somebody else takes my husband from under my nose, huh? What? So he's married? Wow, he's married. And I'm not married. He's gone with Valentina. Wait a minute. Kirill. Can we talk? A few words? Uh, what is your name? Irina. I'm Tamara Fedorovna. My pleasure. Irina. Yes? I understand that you're her friend, right? Well, yes. A colleague, a friend, and his sister. They've been together for more than two years. Really? Well, although I guess all of that didn't matter when the baby's father came back. Well, who told you that? Well, everyone gossips and they say he looks very much like him. I know the father of the child. He has absolutely nothing to do with your son-in-law. And then what is he doing here? Playing the role of the child's father. <laughs> what? Really? Well, that changes everything then. That means that you and I are going to need to unite and fight. Together, I mean, there's safety in numbers. I can't fight against my friend, no way. I'm all for justice, but no. Um, this is unacceptable. Who's asking you to fight against her? You fight for her, for your friend and for my daughter as well. Tanya. Tanya's pregnant. It's confusing, and we don't know what to do. She's pregnant? Well, then this morally changes everything. I'm for justice, and therefore I will fight to the end, to the victory. Is it okay? Give me your hand, come on, come on. <laughs> Careful. Watch your step. <laughs> well, here we are, finally. Come on. Valentina, see what supplies we have inside the house. After you. And then we'll go chop some wood. After you. Please, go inside. Friends, we don't have much food in this house. What did you find? Rice, eggs, flour, butter, onions. We'll have to go to the store. We have nothing else except sandwiches. Robinson Crusoe had even less food. But he survived. I think we can survive too. What do you think about that? Of course we can survive. And who is this Robinson Crusoe? Robinson Crusoe is a sailor who lived on an uninhabited island. It turns out that we, too, seem to be on an uninhabited island. Mm -hmm. Well then, Roman Petrovich Crusoe and his faithful companion, Friday, what are you going to do? Make stone soup? Trust us, ma'am. We promise we will satisfy your hunger. So you can stay in the hut, keep the fire going, and we will go hunting! Hooray! <laughs> let's go hunting! <laughs> And what do you plan on hunting? We're going to hunt some fish. Come on, Friday. Let's go do this. Yes.
there. What did you catch? Here. <gasps> That's amazing. Well done. I'll take care of it now. No, 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 no. Men take care of the food on the island. Right, Friday? Yes, Dad. I'll cook it. Hooray! We're going to cook fish! out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, ready? And one, and two. Three! Pies with fish. With rice and with onions. Mmm, it is divine. I have never eaten anything more delicious. Vova is already asleep. I'll put him to bed. Yeah, I'll go. Vova. Vova, get up. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on, like that. Come on. Mm. Well, son. It's time to go to bed. You mustn't be scared at night. Why with me? Go. Dad's waiting for you. Irina, how are you, my dear? We'll do everything as we decided. Uh, first me, then Kirill. Don't worry, I'm sure that we'll succeed. You and I are wise, experienced women. All right, till the morning.
Yeah, sounds good. Let's sleep on it. So, Mom, do you think this is gonna work out? I'll make them break up. Don't doubt me, Tanya. And why are we leaving? And my father stays here. It's not fair. Because he needs to work and you need to get ready for school, okay? Not okay. Valentino, why are you doing this? Rowan, the thing is, this all looks like a beautiful dream or like a fairy tale. And this will all end soon. This fairy tale won't end. If you would let me, I'd like to come to you tomorrow. Well, you're going to need a new assignment. <sighs> I was given a long vacation. And I'm thinking, actually, of getting out of the intelligence business. You really want to come with us? Yeah. Well, what about your wife? You were so worried about her before. It seems to me that I wasn't really myself back then. This feels so right that I can't even believe it's been three days. I can't believe it either. You know, I worry about my son. He really thinks that you're his father. And he really believes in it. I also believe that he's my son. So can I come? Okay. We'll be waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Well then. Dad and I caught this big fish, even bigger. And we baked pies with onion. I hate onions. Come on, the pie is so yummy. Really yummy pies, with fish and rice. And is your father going away on a business trip? No, not yet. I really don't want him to leave. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. See you okay. tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hello, are you Valentina? Yes. I'm Tamara Fedorovna, Tanya's mother. She's Roman Petrovich's wife. Oh. I really need to talk to you. I'm listening. You know, Tanya is now in such a state. After Roman left, she doesn't eat, doesn't sleep. I'm just worried about her well-being. I really empathize with you, Tamara Petrovna. It's Fedorovna. Oh, Fedorovna, I'm sorry. But in my opinion, she is to blame. I didn't say she was innocent. We don't value what we have, and then we miss it when we lose it. You understand? The situation Tanya will remember for life, it will be a lesson. Oh, but only now she realized how much she is actually in love with Roman. <gasps> Do you understand me? I understand. But how can I help you? Listen, I didn't come here to ask for your help. I only want you to know that there's another side to this coin as well. I even wanted to ask you not to tell anyone that I came over here today to talk to you. Donna will curse me otherwise. She's so proud, she is. Her principles. She's expecting a baby. <laughs> what? What did you say? <gasps> She's expecting a baby, a little baby. Valentina, please don't say anything to Roman. Otherwise, he'll think I'm blackmailing him. Okay. I won't tell him anything. <laughs> Thank you very much.
Valentina. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to see you. Roman, you shouldn't have come. Thank you very much for everything, but don't... Don't come anymore. Did something happen? No, nothing. Goodbye. Can you please tell me what happened? Nothing happened. I just decided that it's better this way. Can I say goodbye to Vova? Yes, but please don't give him either your phone number or address or anything. I'm begging you. Don't worry. I'll do as you ask. Can I walk him home at least? Yes, but don't take long. Hello. How are you? I'm not doing good. Volva. I have to leave. You lied to me. You're not my father. What makes you think that? I saw how you and Mom arguing outside. Your mom and I weren't arguing. It's absolutely impossible to argue with your mother. You didn't answer me. Do you have other children? No. Only you. Vova. You are my son. Go on, son. So how's it going? <sighs> Valentina decided that we should break up. Hmm, that's too bad. If they ever have any problems or need anything, you call me, okay? Please. Okay. I'll definitely call you. No mm -hmm. doubt about it. All right? Oh, ho, ho, ho. greetings to the spy. It seemed to me that we don't know each other. Well, I'm Valentina's friend, boyfriend. <laughs> what, she didn't tell you about me? She told me about you. You played Mr. Smith quite well, my friend. I'm going, I don't like to be late. Good luck. Valentina! Valentina, please let me talk to you just for one minute, Valentina, please. Leave me alone, all of you. I don't want to hear anything else. Don't you understand? No, no, I... 
Well, don't pay attention. Everything will be fine. Everything will turn out for the best. And now, I'll call you later. Oh. What's this? I don't understand. What? Well, what does she find in him? An ordinary man, not better than me. Oh, Carol, you know very well you are no match for him. No. Couldn't you have just stayed quiet, ma'am? Of course not. You had to humiliate me even more. Why are you upset? You asked me, I answered. Wait, Carol, take the I flowers. I don't need anything. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and here, look, a very noble lady. Uh, 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 helps you, makes arrangements, loves you. Uh, but some king tears him down. All right, let's see. But isn't that a good thing, Mom? No, this is a painful road. Mm -hmm. Uh... You showed up. Finally. I came to pick up my stuff. Roman, by any chance do you know your wife is pregnant, hmm? Yeah. Congrats to the father. Well, the kit is yours, Roman. Oh, Tanya. Don't talk nonsense. You know that most of all, I can't stand foolishness and vulgarity. You can go to hell! Valentina, here's the quarterly report. Just leave it on my desk. I'll take a look. Valentina, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Everything's fine. Do you want to hear a poem? Poem? Tell me. It's very dull, melancholy. No one to offer a hand in times of destitution. To love. But whom? For time isn't worth the trouble. Love doesn't last forever. Yes. My friend, you'll soon go crazy if you stay like this. <laughs> you can go. It's all right. No. Val, you're not okay. You're far from being okay. You're in such a mess that I'm even afraid for you. Val. Val. Come on. Stop. Come on, stop crying. I just had no idea that it would be so unpleasant. What do you mean? Uh, financially? Honey, you can't afford anything? Let me help you. No, it's not about that. I just, I can't live with the thought that, that he left me alone. Huh. You are my girl. It's all right. Eventually all of this will pass. Time heals. I don't want that. I don't want time to heal. I want him to come, to come back to me. Mom, can't we do anything else? Forget about him. Forget him. We'll find you a new husband. And one much better than him. He will love you. You know that there's still life in this old dog. Did your dad call you? No. Why not? He has a new mission. Does he love his mission more than he loves you? Shut up! You don't know anything. My dad loves me. I'm going to see him today. Is that clear to you? You called, Boris? I did, I did. Hello, friend. Hey. Look, here's the deal. Hmm? I pulled some strings, and I think that we all jumped the gun a bit. In brief? You're going to India! Thank you, Boris. You're not happy? I am. No, I don't get it. 
Don't go on a business trip. You're unhappy. Go on a business trip. Unhappy. What's going on with you, Roman? I'm happy. I'm very happy. I just hide my happiness well. Ugh. Vova, where are you going? To my dad's. My goodness. Mm. Hello? Valentina. Valentina, it's me, Galina. It seems to me that Vova ran away from home. <sighs> ran away? To where? I don't know where. He ran out of the gate with his backpack and said I'm going to my dad's and... Oh. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, hello, Roman. This is Mrs. Galena calling. Next train to Moscow will be leaving in five minutes. Platform number three, platform number four. The next train leaving for Moscow will be in five minutes. Platform number three, platform number four. The next train to Moscow will be leaving in five minutes. Platform number three, platform number four. The next train leaving for Moscow will be in five minutes. Platform number three, platform number four. Boy, who are you waiting for here? Daddy. Have you agreed to meet your dad here? Well, kind of. And when is he gonna come? I think in 20 minutes. Well, why don't you tell us your name? Where do you live? I won't. And why is that? So that you won't take me back home. Did you run away from home? I'm telling you, I'm waiting here. I think he just made up everything about his dad. I made it up? There, he's coming! Vova! Vova! There's my dad! And there's my mom! Vova! Boba. Oh, boy. Are you okay? Boba. Yeah? Well, that's it. It's all right now. If only you knew how miserable I felt without you. Oh, okay. Come on. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Boba. You cannot be running away. Boris, listen. I'm not going to India. Not going? What do you mean, not going? Why? Well, Boris, I have more important things to do. I'll explain later. Well, let Melkazarov go. Let him be happy. Bye. Well? Well? I told you it was a magic lamppost, am I right? Yes. You were right about that, Dad. 